The holidays are just around the corner, and this year you can expect to pay top dollar for toys. That's been the impact of bottlenecks in the supply chain for many retail goods. Our Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo spoke with a Denver business owner impacted by the chokehold at the ports and an expert who calls the Biden administration's efforts to alleviate the chain crisis a Band-Aid fix. The holidays mark business for the toy industry. Profits B4 Adventure, a Denver outdoor toy company desperately needs. Well, we lost over a million dollars in profit this year alone in the last six months. Profits lost due to a spike in shipping containers. The containers before were costing us $6,500 to get a container from, and again, from China to Denver. Now they're costing us $30,000. And a supply chain gridlock at the California ports where shipping containers are offshore waiting to be unloaded. It used to take 30 days to ship a product from China to Denver. Now it takes three to five months. Ed O'Brien, the founder of Beef War Adventure, sells a big retail companies. That means they pre-order products and set prices months in advance. Some retailers are understanding the delays. Some of them were seasonally, so you can't actually fit that window, so we lost orders. A loss in orders led to layoffs and an imbalance in supply and demand. During this time of year, is it typical to have empty shelves like this? It is not typical. We should be bulging in the aisles with inventory and all these shelves should be full. But right now he's struggling with a supply shortage and overstock in select inventory to help ease frustrations. This is not called a supply chain for nothing. President Biden announced around the clock operations at California ports to unload freighters and help revamp the supply chain chokehold. He said trucks on the road at night will help reduce transit time. Everything that they do will translate into higher costs. Jack Buffington, a University of Denver assistant professor in the supply chain management department, calls it a Band-Aid fix. Any sort of short-term remedy is just incremental. It's going to solve some problems at the port of origin, but you still have the same problem in the United States ports being gridlocked, and you still need truck drivers to drive it to their stores. Ed is hesitant but hopeful. Hopefully it will speed up some of the inventory that maybe we anticipated it was supposed to be here. In the meantime, the toy company plans to hold a warehouse sale. We will have products discounted up to 50, 60, 70% off. To help make up for financial losses. Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.